What's going on guys? It's your boy Adjen back again for another outer plane video. And for today, it's time to play test Teropi in Arena. This is going to be my first time play testing with her. I have not tested her out yet because honestly, I don't know how to build her uh, in Arena. Uh, so this is my Teropi. Uh, I built her with speed. As you can see, speed set with uh, speed necklace. Uh, 2,200 attack, two, almost 2.2k 2 defense, uh, 8,600 HP, 253 speed. Uh, I made her to be the fastest character in my team. Uh, speed tuning for uh, in this type of team building for Steropi, in my honest opinion, is kind of meh. It's really hard to speed tune uh, your teammates if you're trying to build uh, around Steropi. And Steropi is only going to be used against teams with Leo or teams with healers. Because uh, if you don't know Steropi's skill too, I've already maxed it out. So begin the crusade. Uh, this one grants Kiraunos to allies and enemies for 3 turns at the start of the battle. So Kiraunos is a debuff that reduces healing received by 50%. And also this one at fully maxed out has a 100% chance to reduce the duration of enemy buffs by one turn when an enemy counterattacks or uses revenge or agile response. Uh, this one is really a hard counter to Leo's uh, invulnerability buff because uh, you really want Steropi to uh, reduce the, the duration of the invulnerability buff so that you can deal damage to the enemy. That is why I have here Valentine on the team because Valentine can proc the enemy's revenge because the enemy has uh, this Stella here. Usually the formation uh, of enemy defense with uh, Leo is around uh, with this Stella also. And uh, this is my team. Steropi, Valentine, uh, Nokia, and this Stella. I don't have any healer. Uh, they're somewhat kind of squishy but... I built Notia with Evade. As you can see, my Notia here has a uh, 405 evasion uh, with 2,900 attack, 1k defense, 8k health, 202 speed only. I made her a, a bit slow because uh, I don't want her to be attacking that fast. And then crit chance 68, crit damage 206, something like that. And then Valentine here is also speed tuned to be slower than Steropi because I want Valentine to use her S3 uh, after the, the opposing enemy Leo already uses the invulnerability map so that I can reduce the duration of that one with Steropi's uh, skill too. So 3k attack, 1.1k defense, 8.6k health, 237 speed <coughs> use 44% critical chance and 226 critical damage. Uh, I may I, I equip her with some effectiveness uh, necklace. Because Valentine usually if she has a very low effectiveness, sometimes her debuff does not proc. So I I gave her some uh, effectiveness uh, necklace so that I can also speed tune uh, lower her speed a bit slower. And then this is my D Stella. It has a uh, 470 evasion. Yes. 470 evade. Seems pretty high. 3.6k attack, 1.5k defense, 9.5k health, and 110 speed. Very, very slow. Uh, she's just here to counter uh, the enemy because the enemy also has a debuff here with uh, Veronica because Veronica's S3 is also considered a debuff. So yeah, let us try and uh, test out Stropy in Arena. I'm not really sure if she's going to be working. This is just me theory crafting around her. And this is going to be Stropy's Arena debut. Uh, Leo should be attacking first. Okay. It's working as in as intended wait why am i lagging so hard there you go so leo already has the invulnerability buff so we have the keraunos debuff also here uh, 
Uh, I'm gonna be using the, the buff. The attack and accuracy buff of Steropy. Honestly, the animation is very fluid. Very nice. Okay, here we go. Let us see if we can reduce the debuff. I mean, reduce the duration of the buffs. Uh, since the enemy has a resilience buff and also a invulnerability buff, if I proc revenge, this one, we will proc the revenge first. Boom. Okay. Somewhat useless. But it's not really useless because I proc the poison. There you go, the revenge, and then. Why it did not proc? What? What? Why? Why the S2 did not proc? I activated the revenge, right? I activated the revenge. Why? What is this? What is this? It's not working. How? How? Fucking shit, man. Why did the revenge did not proc? Why? Why did the revenge did not proc? So double attack. Ah, uh, it's kind of me in my honest opinion. The revenge did not proc. Why? This is a uh... I don't know what to say about this one, but I don't know why it did not proc. So counter attack. This one should be a uh, should proc. There you go. It procs on counter attack, but on revenge it did not proc. Why? Just why? Huh? Just why? I already lost this one because of it did not proc the. It did not remove the invulnerability buff earlier. This is already a lost cause. Maybe it's a bug. Why did that proc? Just why? Damn it. Just damn it. Oh man. Uh, let's just uh, give up this one. I activated revenge, but it did not proc. Why? Why? It clearly states that if enemy uses revenge, right? Let us use again, uh, again this against this one. Uh, this one has Leo. 
let us try to and this one has a 100% chance when an enemy counter attacks or uses revenge or agile response what why hmm The enemy Leo is very slow. I'm in trouble here. Uh, I'm in trouble. I'm just gonna use this one. I'm not gonna debuff you yet. I'm just gonna be using uh, this one. Increase speed. Now let us see if we can uh, reduce the invulnerability buff here. I'm gonna activate this Tela's Revenge. It uses during the Agile response. So the... Against Agile response, it's working as, in as intended. But I have not checked if it will work against Revenge. Because Tio proc first before the Revenge. The attack is pretty decent for a tank. Uh, her attack is pretty decent for a tank. And he, she cycles her speed really fast. This is an evade, uh, an evasion, uh, Veronica. Why all miss? Damn it. I don't think I'm gonna win this one. Stropy is really hard to use in arena in my honest opinion 
yeah, she's really hard to use in arena. And also, team building around her seems kinda wack. Seems kinda meh in my honest opinion. Oh, I can still win this one. Ha! 470 evade for the win. I'm just gonna auto this one. Stropy is somewhat a liability in arena just by playtesting with her and by experiencing experiencing uh, her in arena right now. I'm not feeling uh, really good with Stropy but maybe in PBE she's going to be really nice because of her weakness gauge reduction. You dead. Missed. Oh, oh, I died. What the fuck? <laughs> One percent enemy. Like what? Got demoted. Well, let us see if we can still find another Leo without Tio. Aleo without Tio because uh, agile response it's working as in, as intended, but against uh, revenge, uh, let's just try to use against this one. This one has uh, this Tela. Let us see if Revenge will work on this one. And since the enemy will uh, buff with critical chance and critical uh, damage, but the minus one turn cooldown is not uh, really a big deal against this type of enemy. Uh, I'm just gonna test out if the S2 of Stropy is gonna work on this Tela's Revenge here. And that's, that is why I'm trying to fight against this team. I've been poisoned. So. Let us use this one. How much healing with reduce 50%? 2k 2k heal okay miss no my valentine died like what the fuck how can i test out the revenge if my valentine died There's no way to know that no that one now. There really is no way now. Eh, I'm dead. She is really, really junky. Yeah, Steropy is teacher in arena. Fuck fuck Steropy man. Maybe in the PBE she's going to be SS chair, but in arena she's pretty wack. Yeah, pretty luck. Well, I guess that's it for me for today, guys. That is Tropis Arena debut and her debut is a failure. <laughs> yes, it's somewhat of a failure. Anyway, guys, I think that's it for me for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a like and subscribe. I would really appreciate it if you can help me grow my channel more. And thank you to everyone who are supporting my channel. I appreciate every one of you. Until next time, peace.